Welcome to my Smolder Sports and Farming channel. This video is an update on the Ranger race truck. So, as you can see, you know the headlights and uh, signal lights are are all out up here. And, uh, and I, I also did take the grill off, which. You know, I don't know if that, that's required or not. You know, I could maybe still put it back on, but the primary reason I took that off is because I found with some of the demolition derby builds I've done that that the grill can interfere with getting access to the bolts and stuff to take the headlights out. So that was my primary reason for taking that off. But you know, I, like I say, you know, I, uh, I could probably put that back on if, if I wanted to. Uh, then you know, the the mirrors are mirrors are off. And yeah, the uh, come around this way, and I can show you. Yeah, there again, the mirror's off. And I also got the tail lights out. So, uh, yeah, I, I was able to get all that stuff off without having a cut anything or do any sort of damage so that so that if I, I wanted to you know once I opt to no longer have this truck as a as a race truck then that would allow me to piece it back together to sell as a street vehicle yet you know it's, Plug everything back in, you know, stick everything back in, and, and then this, you know, truck would still look like you, the way you saw it in the, in the last video that I did on it, where I introduced you to this truck, and then, yeah, I got my chain around the bumper there. And the chain around the bumper back here. So yeah, but the main reason that, that that's required is, like I talked about in, in the last video I did on this, that uh, if I were racing with this truck and got stuck in a snowbank, then then that gives them gives them a place to hook on to pull me back out. So yeah, I, I got all the basic stuff done on this truck, other than the roof sign. You know, by basic I mean you know, regardless of what class you you run in, you know, those things have to be done. I mean, I, I do have some materials I can use to make a to make a roof sign, but. Just a matter of you know putting it together and getting getting a number painted on it. So so that the score scorekeepers and so forth can you know, see where I'm at. And one thing that could help with that is you know you know they they don't they'd also be able to see the hood from up there so yeah if I were to put my vehicle number on the hood you know then, then that would that would give them a second way of knowing where I'm at 
I mean, the, the class that this is, that, I, that I'm able to run in with this truck is, you know, has not had a huge car count, but, but whereas the other two classes have had bigger, you know, fairly big car counts, and, yeah, that's why the, you know, they want to, they want you to have a roof sign, and, you know, make sure you're Make sure the vehicle number is visible, so 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 that they know know where where exactly you are at. Uh, so yeah, the, the roof sign is the only basic thing that I haven't you know completed on this just yet. But other than that, I I got all the basic stuff done. You know that's needed for every class. And, then, uh, and now I can start getting getting into uh, the different things I have to do on this truck that are specific to the class that I'm, I'm running this in. The first thing being, I'll have to put a bar along the driver's door here, you know, as an extra, basically an extra form of protection. I mean, I'd, in the three years I've I've watched the race, and two of the three. You know, which I made videos of. You know, since having this channel, I have not seen a rollover. But you know, whereas you know this particular class, you know, has a greater chance of that happening than than the other classes. So, so that's why. And then the. The two plates I have in here now, which I probably won't use, but you know that's but uh, that's how how the other drivers of this class have have done it. Is that you know they, they will drill holes in these plates, you know, mount it onto the box that way or the plates, and then. And then there'll be, uh, you know, what can I grab? So then there'll be. I'll just use this to demonstrate, but there'll be a bar that, you know, what they do is, you know, then they, then they will, a bar on each plate, and then, and then it goes straight up, like I have this, and then, and then they'll have one going, going, going across, you know, about the level of the cab, in this case, you know, they had basically more more of a rollover rollover protection type thing. So then they'll have that, and then and then from that, they'll have another bar, you know, from the top part of the of the front uh, area there and then, and then it'll come down like this and then, and then they'll and then that'll be on another plate on both sides you know, so I, hopefully hopefully you guys make sense out of that I mean I just trying to
you know, that, that, that'll, that'll give you the idea of, you know, what all I have to do inside the box here. You know, once I, once I sweep this cleaner, make sure there's no fire hazards. But, but yeah, the, the reason I'm not going to do it with the plates is because, In one of the most recent demolition derby builds I've done, you know, I, I tried to drill through metal of this thickness, and I had no luck whatsoever getting a drill bit through that. So, so I, I think what I'll do instead is I'll grab some of this iron and and put and lay it across the the width of the box and then I can now I'll just weld weld this stuff on onto the uh, onto the side of the box both you know one like that in the front and then another one like that in the back and then that and then that'll allow me to to also use the top of the side of the box to you know help help secure the upward bars and then and then I'll have a stronger uh, rollover set up that way. Yeah. As, as you can tell it's you know been kind of white here lately so, so yeah we, we had you know, somewhat, somewhat decent day today. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be a lot worse. You know, put it that way. I, I was able to get some iron brought up here to, you know, so I can do that, and, and then I'll iron in, inside the shed here to. You know, work on work on putting that uh, rollover set up in inside my inside the truck box here, like like I just talked about. And then finally, the the thing that well, I, I don't know if it absolutely has to be done, but but it should be done, and I'm, I'm gonna and I'm, I'm gonna try and do it. Is that this record here class that I'm running in? allows for the tires to be studded. So, uh, so yeah, that, that'll, that'll be the other, you know, big thing that's left is, you know, not, not only the, the rollover setup that I just talked about, but, but also to, you know, have this truck sitting here with, with studded tires in the end. And then, uh, then, be, then because I'm still looking to, you know, potentially have this be a street vehicle in the future at some point. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but you know, I don't want to keep that open yet. Is that you know, the way I'm looking to get around that part then is, you know, that up. I'll put my studs in a completely different set of tires. And then what I'll do is, you know, I'll pull these, these tires off that are on it and stuff them in inside the ones that, that I stud or put studs in. And then and I'll tube the whole works and then, then that should be good. You know, and then and that way, you know, it's by doing that, I also have less of a chance of of getting a flat tire while I'm on the track. You know, because last year I I saw somebody in that class get get taken out of the race because his tire went flat. So.
the guy with, you know, the procedure that's required in order to, in order to stud a tire and, and, you know, the, the fact that the, you know, part of them will, will be inside the tire and so forth, you know, then I don't know if, you know, going, going the tubeless law, tubeless route, like, like these probably are now, you know, would, would necessarily work. So, so that, so that's why, so that's why I'm looking to, you know, put studs on it, put the studs on a completely different set of tires, you know, and then put these tires that are on it now inside those. You know, so. And like I say, once I, once I get that much done, then, then, then they can all be, you know, have tubes stuck inside them and, you know, keep them full that way. So, uh, then yeah, I'll have to find a place to put that cover and, and all the, and all the different, you know, lights and stuff that I, that I took off of this already, so. So with that, I'd, I'll certainly, you know, keep you updated as, as soon as, you know, once, once I'd, I'm able to make more, more progress on, on this truck and getting it ready for racing and so forth, so. Uh, so with that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Be sure to click on the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And then once you've subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell. And you'll get notified whenever a new video gets posted. Be sure to follow Mark's Sports and Farming channel on Facebook as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later.